a covert journalist has gotten film indicating Antifa coordinators subtly plotting to draw moderates into murder zones and after that shoot them with firearms. Radio host Steve Crowder as of late went covert to secretively film the household fearmonger gathering. The exasperating film, demonstrated as follows, uncovers how Antifa are arranging the mass killing of moderates in the coming months. Gotslaves.com reports, watch the video beneath and you'll get a feeling of where Antifa is going. These individuals, every one of whom are unsettled, left-wing insane people who have been radicalized by late-night TV and the predominant press, have devoted themselves to conferring whatever brutality is important to quiet voices of reason crosswise over America. These individuals are likewise, obviously, total blockheads, they charge Ben Shapiro, a Jew, of being a Nazi, and they mistake private enterprise for one-party rule. They most likely additionally think Princess Leia is a KKK part since she wears white robes with a hood. Amusingly, none of these individuals would most recent five seconds in a battle with a genuine nationalist, coincidentally. Any hid convey holder with a negligible preparing could undoubtedly safeguard themselves against these awkward weirdos and sexual orientation befuddled terrorists. However the genuinely irritating part and this is the means by which Antifa insane people trust they are renegade ninjas who can pull off a prominent uprising against a very much equipped citizenry. Truly, viewing these weaklings stroll around on camera discussing blades and firearms like their officers of fortune. I'm exceedingly far-fetched any of them have the grasp quality to rack the slide on a Glock 21, substantially less take part close by to hand battle with genuine men who are shielding their nation. Not surprisingly, leftists confound owning a weapon with the range of abilities of utilizing a weapon. They most likely likewise think purchasing a guitar makes them stunning artists. Which is the reason such a large number of them claim guitars they can't play. Regardless of their daydreams, these left-wing insane people are clearly very genuine, as far as they could tell, about submitting savagery against their planned targets. Which, let's be honest, is anybody saying anything they don't care for? The left is tolerant, you see. Also, comprehensive, as well. They're tolerant to the point that they just murder those with whom they oppose this idea. That is balance in their contorted personalities. Also. They're being shown this crazy hogwash by all the typical left-wing TV madness pushers like Michael Moore or Whippy Goldberg, both of whom have turned into a shame to human reason. The left-wing separate from reality has achieved a radical new tallness of craziness. The Trump-despising left has turned out to be so disturbed and madly inept that the mayor of San Juan in Puerto Rico as of late denounced Trump for not assisting with enough save supplies while remaining before huge beds of save supplies unmistakably noticeable out of sight. See photograph, underneath. This is the aggregate detach and fancy that the left is currently parroting once a day, wherever over the way of life. The delirium has achieved such levels of craziness that many dark individuals actually trust they are living in a country that is running dynamic cotton-picking slave ranches, which is the reason one dark lady in Texas as of late criticized all cotton items, asserting all cotton is gotten from slaves. No, I'm not by any means joking. Simply stop and consider the careless mania behind this for a moment. Antifa individuals are too verifiably unskilled to acknowledge they are the fascists. Antifa individuals, incidentally, straightforwardly legitimize savagery against anybody they abhor by guaranteeing their objectives are fascists and in this manner should be killed by any methods important. This strategy, amusingly, superbly reflects the thoughtless viciousness of real fascists, whom Antifa cases to loathe. These people aren't playing a diversion any longer. Crowder clarifies. This is not kidding viciousness. This is the new rationale of the unsettled, insane person left in America. A similar left that is so disengaged from reality that they do not understand the KKK was controlled by Democrats, and Abraham Lincoln was a Republican. They additionally don't understand that JFK applauded Adolf Hitler and his real autocracy, which has filled in as a totalitarian outline for the left ever.